Hello everyone and welcome to LRDI Master Series powered by Coachify. This is day 14. Here we are with another puzzle. This puzzle is again taken from CAD 2023 slot 2. It's a beautiful puzzle. Let's make it fun. The name of this puzzle is Odds Wheel Firms. Firstly, you take it screenshot and try on your own and then you watch my solution. And these are the questions that follows. Please take it screenshot as well. Let me quickly explain this set to you. We have five forms of odds will. Treat them as A, B, C, D and E. For these forms, we are provided with some data in this table. This table says that for these forms, there is a certain year of their existence, first year of their existence and then certain last year of their existence. That means if I talk about A, A is coming out coming up in their operations in 2009 and then winding up their operations by 2016, right? This is what we are provided for A. Likewise, we are provided with the other details for uh, the other firms, right? Now, it says that each firm raised one CR in its first and last year of existence. That means if I talk about A in 2009, which is its first year of existence, A is raising one CR and last year of existence is 2016 that means in 2016 also a is raising one cr that means for 2017 there is no operations now it says that the amount of each the amount each firm raised every year increased until it reached a maximum and then decreased until the firm closed down so it will continuously increase and then it will continuously decrease right till the firm is getting closed down now it says that no firm raised the same amount of money in two consecutive years. The amount that they are raising, it should not be same for any two consecutive years. That means let's say, let's say if A is raising 2 CR in 2010, that means in 2011, this value cannot be 2. It cannot be the same value for any two consecutive years, right? That's what it means. Now it says that it each annual increase and decrease was either by 1 CR or by 2 CR, right? So whatever the increase or decrease is, it is either 1 CR or it is either 2 CR. That's how it is. This was the information provided. Now what we have to do, we have to, uh, you know, club this information with this table and then we have to fill this table so that we'll see uh, how much, you know, we can solve it. Uh, by the end of the solution, we'll be able to answer all our questions. So let's begin solving this table. So what should be the way forward from here? Let's have a look at their first year and last year of existence. And let's fill in that firstly. And then we'll start uh, with this table, right? So uh, for A, its first year of existence is 2009 and last year of existence is 2016. And since uh, for each and every firm, we are provided with the information that in their first year and last year of existence, they are raising exactly one CR. So what we can say, this is one CR. And this is also one CR, they are not working in 2017. Let's talk about B. So B is coming into existence in 2012. That means we are not provided, uh, we have no use of these years. We'll be talking from 2012. So for B, uh, 2012 is its year of existence. That means in 2012, they are raising one CR. And 2015 is last year of existence. That means in 2015 also, they are raising one CR. We are not talking about 16 and 17 for this form. Let's talk about C. For C, 2013 is the year of existence. That means it's raising one CR in 2013. These years don't matter for C, right? We are not provided with its last year of existence. We'll figure it out. Let's proceed for now. It's, uh, let's talk about D. So for D, the year of existence, first year of existence is 2011. Uh, D is raising one CR in 2011. So these years, we are not exactly concerned. Now, 2015 is its last year of existence. That means in 2015 also, it's raising, uh, raising exactly one CR. These years don't matter. Now, let's talk about E. So, E is coming into existence in 2010. So, in 2010, it's raising one CR. And still, we are not provided with the last year of existence. Now, we are provided with the total amounts they have raised. For four of the firms, we are provided with that information. Let's fill in that as well. 21, 9, this is 10 and this is 13. Now we have to think, uh, you know, which is that firm with which we can start filling out this table now, right? So that should be, that firm should be exactly uh, for which there are minimum years of operations, right? Also the total value must be provided, right? So we can start with that. Now, if this point is not provided, each annual increase and decrease was either by 1 CR rupees or by 2 CR rupees, 
then we cannot crack this set. But since this information is provided, so many of our cases are getting eliminated. Like if I talk about B, right? If I talk about B, now what I can say, right? So what we are saying is that for 2013, there are only two values possible. Either there can be an increase of one CR or there can be an increase of two CR. That means either this value can be two or this value can be three. Now what I have to do, I have to increase my value and then I have to decrease my value. I have to reach a maximum value and then I have to decrease my value. That's exactly the trend that I have to follow for each and every form. So keeping that thought in mind, what are the values possible for 2014? So if this is two, this can be three, right? And then it can be one. So it is one, two, three and one. So it is getting increased by one CR, again getting increased by one CR and then it is decreasing. So we are reaching a maximum value and then we are decreasing. That means we are following all the conditions. Right. If you're taking it as three, right, then we can say that it is two. This is the only possibility, right? So one, then three, right? There's an increase of two CR. Then there is a decrease of one CR. And then finally, there is a decrease of one CR. So these are the only two combinations possible. So if we keep both the combinations in mind, then we are getting the same sum. That means one, two, one plus two, three, three and three, six and one, seven or 1 plus 3, 4, 4 and 2, 6 and 1, 7. That means this total value will be 7 in both the cases. These are the only two possible situations. Now I think it will be much, much easier to solve it for C. I am provided with a total of 9 out of which I am having 1 here. Now, what are the values possible? So let's, let's keep it the minimum way firstly. So let's keep it 2 first. So there is an increase of 1 CR. Let's keep it 3. Now, let's assume that this is the uh, maximum possible value. Now, there is a decrease of 1 CR and then there is a decrease of 1 CR again. So, these are the values. Let's take the sum of it. So, 3 and 3 is 6, 6 and 3, 9. This is the only combination possible, right? You can try. Now, what is the next value that you can take? So, you can take it as 3 also. 1, 3, then it should be 4, right? Or it can be like... 1, then 3, then it can be 4, 4, 3, 7 and 1, 8. Now we are left out with two values, right? Or we can do one thing that we can take it as 1. But is it possible? No, it is not possible. Why? Because there is a decrease of 3. But we can only have increase or decrease either by 1 CR or 2 CR. So there is no such combination possible. There is only one combination possible, which is in front of you. So we have solved B, we have solved C. Let's talk about other forms now. If I talk about D now, this value will be increase. From here to here, it will be decrease. So if I take the minimum value here as 2, right? So there is an increase of 2, 1. So this is 1, then 2, right? If I take it as 2, then can it be 3? No, 3 and 3 is 6, 6 and 3 will be 9, but we have to get our sum as 10. That means this can be 4, right? So these are the values possible for D. Now let's talk about A and E. Let's talk about A now. So if we keep the values minimum, let's keep an increase maximum of 1 CR. Let's make it 2. Let's keep a decrease also minimum. Let's keep it also 2. So there's a decrease of 1 CR only. Now this is 3 and 3 is 6. Okay. So uh, now let's again keep a minimum increase of 1 CR. That means the value for 2011 is 3 CR, right? Let's keep this also minimum. 3 CR. So when, how we are saying that it is minimum because we are only maintaining a difference of 1 CR, right? There can only be two differences possible. Either it is of 1 CR or it is of 2 CR. That's it. So uh, now this is 6 and 6, 12. We are left out with 9. So for these two amounts, what are the values possible? So from 2011 to 12, there can be an increase of 1 CR. This can be 4. If this is 4, this will be 5, right? or there can be an increase by 2 CR, right? There can be a difference of 2 CR also. So when I'm taking it as 4, that means there is an, there's a difference of 1 CR. If I take it as 5, that means there is a difference of 2 CR. So if it is 5, then it has to be 4. These are the only two combinations possible for A. Let's talk about E. So for E, it's year of existence is 2010. This is 1 CR. Now let's keep the values minimum first. Let's maintain a difference of 1 CR only. Let's keep it as 2, right? So this can be 3, right? This can be 4, 4, 3, 7, 2, 9 and 1, 10. Now I need 3. The only way possible is 2 and 1. This is one way, yes. 
or 1, 2, then we can have a difference of 2CR. That means we can have a value as 4 also. Then this has to be 3, then 2 and 1. These are the two possible cases. Uh, okay, but for this, my year of existence is coming out as 2015. Now I have to figure out. Is there any other possibility for which my year of ex existence can, you know, extend, right, can extend or it can, you know, wind up by 2014. Is there any such possibility? If there is a possibility, I have to take that also into consideration. Otherwise, we have solved our puzzle. So let's, let's have a thought for that also. We can observe one thing for E that our last year of existence is 2015 when we are taking our values minimum. Right? That means there is an increase of 1 CR here, there is a decrease of 1 CR here, minimum. This is the least case scenario, right? That means in any of the possibility, I cannot have 2016 and 17 as my last year of existence. Now what I think is, can I wind up my operations even before 2015? So for that, we can do one thing. For the first year, we will have, we'll be having our, you know, amount as 1 CR only. For 2011, instead of taking the difference by 1 CR, we can keep it as 3 CR. So there will be a difference of 2 CR, right? So we are increasing our value now. So if this is 1, 3, right, uh, can we take the difference of 2 CR here also? Let's, let's give it a thought. So this is 1, 3 and 5. The sum is coming out as 5, 3, 8 and 1, 9. Okay. Now I need 4 more for my total as 13. So for that I can keep it as 3 and 1. So there is a difference of 2. There is again a difference of 2. Again there is a difference of 2 and then there is a difference of 2. Right. So for E these are the 3 possibilities that I am getting. Right. These are the 3 possibilities. Now there cannot be any other possibility. Why? Because this value cannot be more than 3. This is the maximum difference that I have taken here. This is the maximum difference that I have taken here. These are the possibilities. Right. So I think I have solved my puzzle. This much only we can solve it. Now, now let's have a look at the questions and try to answer. Let's have a look at the very first question. It says that for which firms can the amounts raised by them con uh, be concluded with certainty in each year? So how many such firms are there for which we can have a certainty with their amounts for every year, right? So let's talk about first option, only C and D. If I talk about C, I am having certainty for each and every year. Yes. If I talk about D, I am having certainty for each and every year. So uh, first option, yes, it is, it is correct. If a option is correct, right? And there is no none of these. That means there cannot be any other option which is correct. So I need not to check any other option. My answer is A option. What best can be concluded about the total amount of money raised in 2015? What best we can conclude, right? So uh, <clears throat> if this is the case for E, that means this will be blank. So in that case, the sum will be 3 to 5 into 7, 7 CR. If this is the case for E, then it will be 1. So either it is 7 CR or it is 8 CR. So my correct answer is it is either 7 CR or 8 CR, which is A option. What is the largest possible total amount of money that could have been raised in 2013? What could be the largest possible amount of money? So I'll be getting the largest possible amount of money when this value will be 4 and this value will be 3. And this value will be 5, right? So this is 5, this is 3, 8, 8 and 1, 9, 9 and 4, 13, 13 and 4, 17. So correct answer for this question is 17 CR. So these are the last two questions. Let's have a look at question number 14. If E raised rupees 3 CR in 2013, E raised rupees 3 CR in 2013, that means these are the two cases possible. What is the smallest possible total amount of money that could have been raised by all the companies in 2012? Smallest possible value. So if this is 3 and if I'm taking this case, that means 13531, then this value will not be giving my result as minimum. So I will eliminate this case. Now, if I'm taking this case, if this is 3, this will be 4, right? So this is 4, this is 2, 4 into 6 and 1, 7, 7 and 4, 11. 11 is the least possible value that I can have for 2012. If the total amount of money raised in 2014 is 12 CR, firstly, let's have a look how we can come to this 12 CR. So for 12 CR, let's take the maximum possible values. This is 3. This is 3. Let's take it as 3. 3, 3, 6, 6 and 6 will be 12. That means in no case, I can take it as 1. This is eliminated. Now, 
can I take two? No. Why? Because two into four will be eight. Eight and three is eleven. I cannot have twelve CR. That means this will be three. So if it is three, then this will be two, right? This much I can conclude. Now let's have a look at the options. B raise the same amount of money as E in two thousand thirteen. So firstly, this case is eliminated, right? So B raised the same amount of money as E in 2013. If I talk about 2013, uh, the value for B is two, and the value for E, B raised the same amount of money as E in 2013. So if I talk about 2013, B is raising two, and E is raising either three or four. That means in none of the cases this value can be equal. So this option is not possible. I think we got our answer. we are talking about not possible this is not possible right let's have a look at the other options as well a raise the same amount of money as d in 2013 if i talk about 2013 a and d the values can be same it is a possibility we are not saying that exactly it should be true we are talking about possibility so it can be a possibility yes 4 and 4 right a raise the same amount of money as b in 2014 a and b yes this is true B raise more money than E in 2014. Yes, this is also true. B is raising three and E is raising two. Yes, this is also true. That means the answer for this question is A option. With this, we are done with this puzzle. This was Oddsville Farms. I hope you enjoyed this solution. It was full of learning for you guys, and I believe that you guys are progressing with each and every day of this series, right? So let's meet up in another video. Till then, keep solving, keep learning, keep growing. Bye bye and take care.